the job that fired me then hired three people to replace me. This is his less petty revenge and more karmic hilarity about a job I lost about 15 years ago god I am old. I admit freely to doing what my bosses accuse me of doing which is one goofing off when I have nothing to do two having manager passwords I shouldn't technically have. For one ADHD actually comes in handy and added to being smart I picked things up quickly and was often able to do a day's work by lunch so I kinda goofed off until bosses found other work for me to do. As for two my father also worked for the company and gave me the password so I wouldn't have to come to him every 15 minutes. So I did have his permissions to use the password. Now here is where the revenge part comes in. The boss that fired me actually asked me to train my replacement. My father who remember worked for the company as well said yeah because it meant two more weeks of pay as he started to send out my resume. As I trained my replacement I realized how much I actually did beyond my job description because the girl I trained could not keep up. After I finally left my father told me my boss had to hire two more people just to replace me. Oh yeah a month later my father quit too. The place I worked for got bought out six months later. Don't you love that sweet karma? I worked for my uncle doing commercial landscaping for a few months while I was waiting for some paperwork. I got to ride the big stand on mowers and enjoyed the work. He wasn't sure about hiring a girl at first figured he was being nice to let me earn a few bucks. After I left I heard from my aunt that he had to hire three guys to cover all the things I had done while I was there. As I trained my replacement I realized how much I actually did beyond my job description because the girl I trained could not keep up. Revenge might have been training them to do your job, not training them to do everything you did. It would have only been fair though to warn your trainee so they could explain why they weren't doing X like you used to do. Oh, OP didn't train me how to do that because it wasn't his job. He just did it to help out. I think OP said it's Bob's job. That's when they learned Bob retired five years ago and now they have to find and hire a new Bob. At my last hellish job I was the lowest paid employee. I knew this because I did payroll. And all of HR. And recruiting. And lunch orders, office supply orders, technical support, furniture assembly, media prep, marketing, job fairs, paid bills and was also a COVID officer. I hear they had to hire six people to replace all I did, and all I was asking for was a 10k raise. Nearly every job I had over my career had difficulty replacing me. Not sure if that's a testament to my work ethic or proof that I'm a sucker to work much harder than what I was being paid for. Literally every job I ever worked hired three people to replace me, often after firing me because I was lazy. Just because I take time to think of the smart way to do things instead of coding immediately like a banshee doesn't mean I'm not more effective, as they discovered the hard way. Was salary at company for 10 years. Got tired of travel to field 50 plus. Nothing extra. Quit. Hired three people to replace me. Boss, who I was hired to reduce his travel spent 100 of next year on the road. And then had two of three quick calls what little travel they did do was too much. Imagine the savings if they had just paid me for all the hours I was billing to customers at four times my ot. Winning. I can relate, I was once called in at my boss office because my desk was too tidy. Co-workers said that it looked like I wasn't doing anything because my desk wasn't a chaotic mess. In the meanwhile I was actually the biggest data processor of the department. When I said that my boss was like, yeah I know, I know but can you just lay around some paperwork here and there to keep them of my back? Like what the actual hell is going on here? I got transferred and they had to hire two more people as well as adding more duties to a person's job that had some crossover. I came back and replaced the two people. I quit and they had to hire two more people and a translator to replace me again. Reminds me of a job I was fired from that also happens to be 15 years ago. Boss was pisses cause I always had free time so I couldn't have been doing the job properly even though he could not point to something that wasn't done nor done well. It just happened that I had written macros to automate a lot of the data input. What took the previous person two days I was done in five minutes. When I left I never did tell them about the macros or the passwords to them. 
LOL, I just went through this two years ago. For fucking people, all making 15k a year more than I did, that's what it took to fill the void I left behind. I feel like such a fucking chump for doing everything I did there. Good news is new employer really likes me. We are playing the keep giving him promotions till we find something he can't do game now. It feels good. I didn't have a particularly technical job but after working there for years I also did a lot of other little jobs on top of mine that somehow got delegated to me. When I gave my notice I kept asking about training my replacement or at least explaining to my manager everything I did. He wasn't interested. His attitude was you're no big deal. I'll just hire somebody else. A few weeks after I left I saw him at a grocery store. I had the biggest smile on my face. He glared at me and walked away. He knew. And he knew I knew. Talk about karma sometimes things don't work out for us but that doesn't mean it'll work for the other side either. I was unjustly terminated right before Christmas at my old job. Someone I worked with let me know that not only are there two open positions after I left, neither have been filled yet. And the headquarters HR is going through a heavy investigation on my ex-branch due to more than one person speaking to them after my dismissal. Whole of Reddit is hard working. Am I the only lazy one? LOL. Many years ago I asked for one dollar hour raise. I was told no on the raise. I gave my two weeks notice. I had worked there 16 years. It was a small company but I could and did cover for each department. The company called me three times to come back. I didn't for reasons. They had to hire two full-time people to fill what I did there. All I was asking for was $40 more a week. Nothing is as satisfying as leaving a company that overworked and underpaid you especially when they regularly update the website you created so you can see all the replacements hired, new positions created, new partners brought on to cover your massive workload and then you see those multiple replacements quitting over and over. Hum. Had this happened to me more than once. The owner at last job I left, that hired three people to replace me, justified it by saying he never wanted to make the same mistake again of relying so much on one person to keep his business running. A lot of places that need to rehire multiple people to replace one person usually fire them after a few months and keep the one new hire that seems to have the most promise in doing the most work, and then the cycle repeats. Hope you learn to send out your own resume dude. Being able to do a day's work by lunch is a blessing and a curse. Once I realized that I was doing the same amount of work in a day was what the guy I replaced did in a week, I had to consciously slow myself down. On the upside, I play games uninterrupted most days I WFH now. Too many employers don't look at the amount of work their employees do when assessing their worth. Rather they look at are they busy. If they are always busy they think good employee even if the not always busy employee gets three times as much work done. It comes from an idea that they own your time. Rather than seeing it as agreeing to pay you to do a certain set of tasks. My job moved me from infrastructure to ERP. They hired three people and a SR manager to replace me. My last company was the same way I could do anything there except PPW including driving loading forklift cash sales etc. My ADHD ensured I got bored and went to learn it something new. They've gone through five hires and good knows how many interviews and still no replacement for me. Guess I was more important than they thought. I thought I was reading my story smiling face with open mouth. I also quit and gave her FU resignation letter well, within the letter if they can decipher it he he he. Three years after, even five years after the GM was still sore of me quitting. Cause he has to find three persons to do the job although there seems to be a fast turn over ever since I left. Karma's AB. My father who remember worked for the company as well said yeah because it meant two more weeks of pay as he started to send out my resume. Why is your father sending out your resume for you? I'm confused about what part of this is revenge.